real fast. Get your wiggles out. Give me a boxer's jog. We're going to start with that. Kind of running in place. A little bit of lightness in your feet. And then move into high knees. They don't have to be all that high, but get your feet off the floor. Up, up, up. And then switch that to kick your butt. I'm turning to the side so you can see what's happening. But alternate high knees and then kick your butt. And then let it go. Sweep your arms up, take an inhale. Forward fold, let your arms wiggle around on your exhale. Let's do it again, inhale, bring it up. Exhale down, throw it away. And get one more of those, inhale. And exhale, fold. This time we're, ro we're rolling into some other stuff. Interlace your hands behind your head, heavy elbows to the floor and sway it out a little bit. And then grab behind your calves. Let your hands slide up as you take a halfway lift. Let's do it again. Slide your hands halfway. Inhale. Slide it down. Exhale. Last time through. And then interlace your hands. Flip them inside out as you stand. Side to side with your hands as you get up there. Big side bend to each side. And then you can do that again, or you can start to kind of wiggle it around in a big circle. Bend your knees enough to catch it. Get really big down the sideways. The flexed hands for extra room. And then keep the interlaced hands, press it all the way down to a fold. Halfway lift, grab behind your calves, and then fold it down again. Stand up, interlace your hands, flip them inside out. Press it back down to fold. Halfway grab your calves. Fold back down one more time. Interlace. Flip it inside out. Inhale to stand. Exhale. Press back down to fold. Grab your calves. Halfway lift. Inhale. And then we'll step it back to a plank pose in the exhale. I'm turning so you can see what I'm doing here. But a plank pose. Charge forward and back a little bit. Flex your feet. Get to the top of your toes. Any kind of movement. Eventually, you're back in the middle of a, of a plank pose, lower all the way down to your belly. Hands under your shoulders, baby cobra, take an inhale, lower it back down, take an exhale, and you get a couple of them. You might get taller, you might use less of your hands. The last time we're here, get as tall as you feel comfortable. As long as your low back doesn't feel pinched, you might even start to straighten your arms, lead from the top of your head. Come back down, tuck your toes, press up to plank on your knees. Push that back toward a child's pose, but we're going for movement on this. Inhale to roll it forward. Exhale to press it all the way back. Now it's yours. Round it. Keep it fairly simple. If you want to get fancy, start to add more of a push-up shape. Bend your elbows lower halfway down. And then tuck your toes, hover your knees, and we take the same action. Roll it forward to now a big plank. Press it back to that hovering down dog. You can find the same kind of breath. Or you can kind of switch it up here. Getting low and heavy, coming forward and long. And then a regular down dog. You can shimmy your hips to the sides, shake out your face. And putting some things together here. From a down dog, walk your hands to your feet, forward fold at the back of your space. All the way up to stand. Now bend your elbows and tap your thumbs behind your head and then take that back down to fold. Grab behind your calves, halfway lift. As you fold, bend your knees, find that little crouch position and then push it forward to your plank pose. Back to your loaded up pounce, walk your hands to your feet. All the way up to stand, bend your elbows, tap your thumbs behind your head. Unpack it, back down to fold. Halfway lift, grab your calves, squish it, and then walk it out. Roll it forward to your plank. 
add a push up if you want to. But as you push up, push back, walk your hands to your feet. All the way to stand, bend your elbows, tap your thumbs behind your head. Unpack it down to fold. Grab your calves, or we'll skip that, this one, <laughs> but bend your elbows. Now we have a chaturanga shape. Up dog on an inhale. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Walk it back. Come up to stand. Bend your elbows. Tap your thumbs behind. Unpack it down to fold. Grab your calf. See, halfway lift. Pounce into it. Bend your elbows. That's your chaturanga. You can start to dive into that a little bit more. It's okay if it's messy. And give it a breath in your down dog. Right leg up and back. Bend your knee. Open your hip. Throw it around in space. Bring your knee in toward your chest. Step it all the way through. Now on the back knee, shift forward and then shift it back like it's a half split. It doesn't have to be a good one, but forward and back a couple times. Inhale. Exhale, push. And then come off your back knee. Do the same kind of movement. It doesn't have to go that far. It's a couple rolls forward and back. Pull some space out of your hip and the back of your leg. And then turn your back foot down on its side. Walk it in if you need to. We open out to warrior two. And then as you straighten your right leg, bend your elbows, arms overhead, thumbs behind your neck like you did from standing. We're gonna do it again. Straighten the leg, thumbs behind your head. Take an inhale, open back out, warrior two. One more time, inhale, and exhale, warrior two. Shift it forward to a side angle. It doesn't have to be a landed one, although you could put your hand somewhere. Top hand behind your head if you have room for it. Point your elbow up to the sky. As you bring your chest down to face the floor, bring both hands down and swap out the hands. Right hand to the sky or behind your head, lean your head back. As you bring both hands down here into your chaturanga, foot steps back, bend your elbows. Up dog is an inhale, and downward facing dog is an exhale. We're switching sides here. Left leg goes up, bend your knee, open your hip, throw it around for some space. Left knee into your chest, try to step it through, get where you can get, drop the back knee down. Shift forward as an inhale, Shift it back toward your half split as an exhale, and it's a couple of those to kind of roll it forward and back, make some room. Then you get off the back knee and do the same kind of movement. No matter if it needs to be shorter, same movement forward and back. When you feel solid, back foot on its side, open out to warrior two on this now left side. As you straighten the left leg, palms together overhead, tap the thumbs behind your head, open out warrior two. Inhales, lift, dip the thumbs, exhales, warrior two. And then from your warrior two, shift forward, lean it into a side angle, maybe the right hand behind your head and your elbow up to the sky. And we're swapping this out so your chest comes down, right hand comes down, left hand goes up, maybe the hand behind your head. Back heel has now lifted to give you extra room. Do it all in one if you can. Hand down, foot back, bend your elbows. That's your chaturanga. We meet back and downward facing dog if you wanna skip all that noise too. And then bend your knees a lot. Roll it forward a couple times, like a short little prep, like you're about to jump and then try it. Wide like a malasana squat, Come up to stand, cactus elbows, back down to squat. Jump it to that little short down dog, into malasana. Come up to stand, cactus elbows. Arms up, squat it back down. Back to down dog, into malasana. Inhale, stand, exhale, cactus. Arms come up, down to squat. You can get a couple of breaths in this malasana squat, your wide yogi squat, and twist around. Shake out your shoulders, open your arms. And jump it if you got it. We're in a down dog again. 
and roll it forward to your plank pose. Here we hold it for a second. Tip your heels to the right, open your left hand up to a side plank. We'll switch sides, heels to the left, right hand lifts, side plank. From a regular plank, heels roll to the right, but no nothing else does. You're in a twisted plank. One push up, maybe two push ups. Give me three push ups if you have them. And then heels through the middle to the left. You're in a twisted plank position. Give me three chaturanga push ups if you got it in you, elbows into your side ribs. Through the middle, hips pop up. Downward facing dog, right leg lifts, right foot steps through. Off the back knee this time, couple pulses if you want them forward and back, pyramid variation. But now we're coming forward with that move, hands down, back foot up, supported warrior three. You might take a regular warrior three if you have the balance for it. Open out to warrior two. Up, thumbs behind you. Open out warrior two, and then right into your deepest side angle that you have available. Left hand behind your head, right hand behind your head, turn it into your twist, and then right into a side plank. Tree legs in your side plank, if you wanna try something fancy, keep those legs chaturanga. Both feet are down for upward facing dog, and downward facing dog, hips up and back. Left leg up, left foot steps through couple pulses if you want them. But we're headed into that warrior three. So take your hands forward the next time you bend your knee. Slide off your back foot. Maybe you're off your hands if you have the balance for it. Press the lifted leg long. Open out warrior two. Just the one time thumbs behind your head with the straight leg. Warrior two rolls you into your side angle. Right hand behind your head. Turn your chest to face the floor. Left hand behind your head. And now twist that out, step right into your side plank. Top foot would be a tree leg if you have it. Chaturanga, you'll keep the legs as you bend your elbows. Unpack the legs for up dog. Downward facing dog when you get there. Bring your knees down, bring your hips back, child's pose. You start to switch gears here and get a breath to recover. And come up to sit on your shins, come up to stand on your knees, arms overhead, cactus arms to throw it behind. You need a couple of those. Sweep it, bring it wide and back. Sweep it, bring it wide and back. Belly stays active. If you can bring your hands to your back hips, go for it. If you have a bigger camel, try for a fist. But then we're actually going forward on this. Hinge at the hips, fist to the sky, dip your head down. As you come out of it into a tabletop, take a couple big circles around with your hips. Loosen up your low back if it took anything weird out of that half camel. And then right hand to the sky, take an inhale. Thread your right arm underneath and into a twist on your exhale. If you want the wrap, left hand behind your back towards your right hip crease. As you unpack it to your regular tabletop, left hand high, take an inhale, slide it under, take an exhale. If you're taking the wrap, right hand behind your back toward your hip crease. Back into your tabletop position, duck your toes, sit on your hips, swing your legs around in front of you. We're headed into double pigeon here. If double pigeon isn't your thing, figure four will work. But right shin on top of your left shin. Lean yourself forward. Maybe crawl your arms out long. It's a few breaths. If you need extra time, you'll take it. But again, this is a short sequence. You'll lift up. You'll switch it out. We're now in the left side, double pigeon or whatever's working for you, left shin on top of your right shin, if it's double pigeon. And 
And you can lift up a little bit, come back down. As you come out of this, unpack your legs, shoot them out in front of you, give them a shake. Arms up, lean forward, you get your Paschimottanasana, your seated forward fold. We're really not here long, just use it as one chance to pull forward. Lift your chest, hands behind your hips, fingertips toward your toes, straightish legs, push away for a reverse plank pose. Soften your elbows, land your hips, lower all the way down to the floor. Hug both knees in. If you can catch your feet, go for feet into your happy baby. You can roll that to the sides. I like to extend a leg at a time, kind of push the back into the floor. You can bring your feet close together and bring your head up. But then let it go when you're ready. Sway your knees a couple times from side to side. Make sure your back can fully connect to the floor. And then both legs out long. And you get a small rest here. Soften your gaze. Big breath in. Big breath out. Start with your breath and maybe add some fingers, some toes, reach your arms overhead, hug your knees into your chest. And bring yourself up to a seated position. Any kind of seat will work. Soft gaze, hands at your heart when you have them. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Bring your thumbs between your eyebrows, that third eye center. Whatever's going to get you right back to the middle. And then that's it. Namaste. Hopefully your wiggles are gone. <laughs>